Jill Stein is a complete idiot. Her recount campaign has nothing to do with electoral integrity. It's a vicious assault on the very bedrock of democracy itself. This is not being done to benefit one candidate at the expense of the other. Really? Is that why all the recounts are taking place only in states that Trump won? Why not a single recount in a blue state that Hillary narrowly won? Jill, Trump won Pennsylvania by 78,000 votes, while Clinton won New Hampshire by less than 3,000 votes. She won Minnesota by less than 44,000 votes and Nevada by around 26,000 votes. Smaller margins than Trump won Pennsylvania in every case. Why no recount in any of those states? Why a recount in Michigan, which doesn't even use electronic voting machines? None of their systems are even connected to the internet. Both Stein and Hillary Clinton's campaign admit they have no proof whatsoever of any fraud. But Jill's only doing this because she really cares about democracy. In fact, Jill cares so much about democracy that she spent the last few days fawning over someone who spent his entire life sending democracy activists to gulags. Fidel Castro was a symbol of the struggle for justice in the shadow of empire. Presente. So you're calling for electoral integrity while praising a dictator who ruled for half a century without a proper election. Americans deserve fair, transparent elections. You're saying Americans deserve fair, transparent elections while genuflecting over someone who presided over a one-party state for 50 years. Give me a break. Hey, Jill. Cuba's last election seemed a little bit fishy. How about a recount there? And while you're at it, why don't you audit California and find out how many illegal aliens voted for Hillary? That's not going to happen, is it, Jill? Because this has nothing to do with electoral integrity. It's about you remaining relevant, having failed to get barely 1% of the vote. It's about you fooling people into giving you a ton of money for something disguised as a recount, which when you read the fine print actually says the surplus money is going straight into the Green Party's back pocket. It's it's about you trying to regain lefty street cred by doing Hillary's dirty work for her. It's about the left trying to delegitimize Trump's presidency before it even begins by stripping him of his electoral college margin of victory, forcing Congress to directly select Trump. So all the butthurt Hillary won the popular vote morons can go out and riot again full of contrived righteous indignation. Unless they engage in brazen fraud, Trump is still going to be president. But given that the recounts probably won't even be done in time, they're going to use this to disrupt the Electoral College vote before December 19th. Oh, and isn't it just rich that the raised corpse of Hillary, only people who hate democracy challenge election results, Clinton, is now hovering in the background of all this. Maybe November Hillary should have listened to October Hillary. To say you won't respect the results of the election, that is a direct threat to our democracy. Look, some people are sore losers and, you know, we just, we just gotta keep going. The same hag who lectured us about being sore losers refused to even concede to Trump on election night until Obama basically forced her to. She also reneged on a deal with Trump to concede within 15 minutes of the Associated Press announcing the winner. Now George Soros, globalist despot who specializes in overthrowing democratically elected governments, has been connected to the recount campaign. Well, imagine my shock. Listen, don't think that just because Trump won the presidency, they're actually going to let him become president without a fight. The political elite don't play by the rules. The rioting, hateful, butthurt, intolerant left are their attack dogs. They're perfectly willing to trash democracy when the result doesn't go their way. Look at Brexit. Nearly six months later, they're still doing everything to sabotage it. Between now and January, we have a massive battle on our hands. Listen up, Jill. We know you have complete contempt for democracy. We know you're bought and paid for by Team Hillary. We know you're a lying piece of shit. Why not just admit the real reasons for all this and stop pretending it's about electoral integrity? while you simultaneously praise dictators who once imprisoned and killed those who actually fought for electoral integrity. Take your George Soros money, go back to being a political failure, and stop being used as a pawn to overturn the democratic will of the American people.